Hey guys, my name is Kodak and in this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can connect to the Discord API to log messages from any Discord server. And then we're not going to use the Discord.py library, we're going to do this from scratch using Python WebSockets since there's literally no video on YouTube showing you guys how to do this, so I'm going to do it right now. Um, so as you can see here, I have created a new account and a new server to demonstrate this on. I'm also going to join this server right here so that I can show you guys in action when we log all of the different messages. Uh, now basically what you want to do is that you want to create a new python file I'm gonna name this main.py and I'm going to open it up in Visual Studio Code which is my editor of choice and basically the two libraries that we need to use for this is uh, WebSocket and JSON so I don't believe you have to install this with pip but you might do so if you get an error just try to install these two I believe they are the default in Python, but whatever. Uh, so after we have done this, we need to define a function that's going to send the JSON request to authorize ourselves to the Discord API gateway. So I'm going to make a new function. I'm going to call it send dot or underscore JSON underscore request. Actually, I typed that wrong. Uh, JSON request. And this is going to take a WebSocket and it's going to take a request. And in here, we just want to send to the WebSocket. Uh, we want to send a JSON object, so we're going to dump. That's, this is how we use the, uh, the JSON library up here. So we're going to dump uh, the request that we pass in. And it's basically, we're going to identify ourselves so that we can log into our account, basically. Um, so the next function we're going to create is the function that will allow us to receive messages. So I'm going to name this JSON underscore receive underscore response. And it's going to take a WebSocket as well. Uh, we are going to create a response variable and we are going to subscribe to the WebSocket by typing ws.receive, which will allow us to subscribe to it. And then the next thing we need to do is just to check if it actually exists. So if response, then we're going to return the JSON loads response. We're going to turn it into a JSON object. So these two functions are the only functions that we need for this. Uh, so now we can actually open the WebSocket itself. So we can type ws equals WebSocket dot WebSocket, which will create the WebSocket. And then of course we need to connect to the Discord WebSocket. And the link for this is actually type ws dot connect. And then the link for this is wss. So you can just copy this. I will. I might just put it in the description as well. Uh, gateway discord.gg and then the version is going to be 6 and the encoding is going to be JSON so I hope that I typed that correctly next we're going to set the heartbeat in turbo which will set how often we want to receive messages or actually events from the discord uh, gateway uh, and in here we're going to take the JSON response object and we are going to take Actually, we're going to pass in the WebSocket, and then from that, we are it's an object, and a D is one of the objects inside object, and then uh, heartbeat interval is another object inside that object. Sounds a bit weird, I know. So, this is basically how we get the heartbeat interval that we're going to be using. Uh, and next, we are going to set our token. So, how do we get our token? Well, you go into your Discord client or to the uh, to a browser and hit Control Shift I. You go into any server and you just type whatever. You just you know type something. And it's going to send a type request. If you click on it, you can scroll down and you can copy the authorization, uh, which is what you're going to paste in here. And basically, this will allow us to get access to your or our Discord account. Now, the next thing we're going to do is to send a payload to identify ourselves with the gateway. Uh, the OP code is going to be 2, which just says that we want to identify ourselves. We want to open a connection. And then the D object is going to uh, be whatever we send to identify ourselves. So, of course, we need a token, which we have defined up there. We need intent, which is going to basically tell the gateway what events we are expecting. And 513 will allow you to get the, the Discord messages as well. So that's what we are out for. And then we actually need the properties as well, uh, which is just something you have to do. doesn't really matter what you fill this in with, but you need the OS. I'm just going to type Linux. And you need the browser. 
which I'm just going to type. It doesn't really matter, you can just type Chrome if you want. Uh, you just need to send this since somehow it's actually required by the gateway identification system. Uh, so the last thing we need to send is the, the device. Which you can literally type anything, let's just type PC. So this is basically what we are going to send to the gateway to identify ourselves. Um, so the last thing we need to do is to actually send it. So we're going to use the send JSON request a function that we defined up there. We're going to send the, or actually we're going to send it into the WebSocket and then the payload that we defined up there. So this is how we identify ourselves. So basically now we are connected. Now to actually receive messages, we need to create a loop and we need to define an event variable which is going to just store whatever we get back from the server. It's going to take this like all the time. So it's just going to loop and every time it receives an event, it's going to store it inside here. Of course, we need the WebSocket inside here since that's how we define our function. And then we need a trial block uh, since not all messages are actually disk or not all events are disk messages and not all events uh, are parsable in the way that we're going to do so basically we won't be receiving embeds in this tutorial but if you guys want to know how to receive embeds as well i'll i can probably either type it in the comments or make a video on it um, so inside a try we are going to take the content of the message and you know the event is a json uh, variable so we need to pick out the content from this event and it's actually in d and then it's uh, content and actually I can show you guys before I destructure it like this so you guys actually know what I'm doing. So let's just print out the event so I can show you guys how it looks like. And of course we need an accept if we have a try block and let's just pass. Let's not do anything. Alright, so we can basically start this and I'm going to show you guys. I actually have an error somewhere. JSON underscore loads. Should be dot loads. There we go. So if I run this, we are going to connect to the gateway. We're not going to see anything, or actually something was sent. I don't really care about this, uh, but if we send a message inside here, we can see that it sent an object. And if we look very closely, we should be able to see yeah, our content is right here. So this is what we're taking out. We're also going to take out the author, which I really can't find, or actually it's in here. Yeah, I've already structured this. We don't need to investigate into this object, so we can just copy what I'm gonna type up here. So I'm gonna delete this, and instead, I'm going to create a variable called content, and as I said before, we're going to take it out, out of the D object, and then the content. We're also going to take the author. Uh, let's just close this to not be distracted. So the author is inside event D author and then to get the username it's inside username object uh, so that's how we get the content and the author now the last thing we need to do is to just print this out to the console so we're going to print we're going to create a f string here and let's have the author first so author and a colon to just show that this author sent this message so let's just type content in here that's going to allow us to log the author and the content. Of course, you can take out whatever you want from the object that we just saw in the console. So you can just investigate into that if you want to pick out other things. But for this video, we're just going to keep it simple with just the author and the content since that's how we create a logger. Uh, so if I save this and run it, we should actually be seeing nothing since now it's only going to show the messages. So if I type, let's say hello, and if we go back here, we can see codec said hello and i can spam it's going to take everything and it's also real time so as soon as i send a message here it's going to pop up here now to show you guys how this works in a server i'm going to join edgy which i sent in here if i join here i should be getting a few messages already so we got three here four and basically we get every single member member's message so every single uh, message that is sent inside the server is being logged in real time in our console uh, so we can see the author and we can see the content. And those that are empty are basically embeds, so we haven't really fixed that in our code yet, but it's not really important. I just wanted to show you guys so you can connect to the gateway. But for regular members like this guy, we can see what he's typed. So that's how you guys can connect to the Discord gateway using Python and WebSockets. 
And if you guys found this video helpful, then please leave a like down below and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.